the money flip. Oh, yeah. I geek on the bitch, ay. I geek on the bitch, ay. I geek on the bitch, I geek on the bitch, I geek on the bitch, ay. I geek on the bitch. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Monty, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get Hall of Fame ankle breaker for a playmaker, point forward, and shot creator. Okay, so what you want to do is when you dribble the ball up the court, all you want to do is do two dribble moves and shoot the ball or pass it for an assist. To make sure that you're doing it right, you're going to see double move leading to score at the top of your screen. And what you're going to do is do two dribble moves and shoot the ball and you have to make the shot for it to count or you can pass it for an assist. Now, obviously, yeah, you got to make sure that your teammate hits the shot. The easiest way is to pass it to Justice Young. He's more likely going to hit the shot rather than any other teammate. But other than that, it's kind of faster to just do the two dribble moves down the court and then shoot it yourself just because having your teammate shoot the ball it, there's a high chance of them missing the shot so that's mainly wasting your time if you're doing it that way now i did that the hard way because in the beginning of the year when the game came out i didn't know that you can shoot the ball too so i was doing the two dribble moves and then passing it out for an assist but in the long run it actually helped because when you pass the ball you're actually going for the dimer badge too now that you can get hall of fame as fast as you're getting ankle breaker because you're doing it at the same time now as far as a shot creator you don't even need to pass it so you're most likely um better off shooting it if you're a shot creator because you're gonna have difficult shots tireless score and mid-range dead eye stuff like that so for a shot creator you're okay for shooting the ball but for a playmaker point forward you actually want to pass it because you're going to help yourself out in the long run for getting your dimer badge too now as far as that when when you unlock the ankle breaker badge you want to upgrade the gold and as you're on the gold stage of the badge you're gonna want to keep doing it and as much as you don't want to hear it but even though you got it in 200 double moves leading the score when you unlock the badge you have to get it for another 800 times to unlock hall of fame so that's what you want to just keep doing is doing double moves leading the scores make sure that's popping up because that means you're doing it right now this is going to take you a couple of games maybe up to 10 because this is a grind for this badge so basically the whole game, this is what you want to do each time, is just come down the court, do two moves, and either pass or shoot if you're open, or if you're not, just pass the ball. You want to do this as much as you can in each game, or else this is going to take you a long time. The easiest way is to put your difficulty on rookie, and put the quarter length to 12 minutes each quarter. That is the best thing that you can do to get your ankle breaker hall of fame quicker. Other than that, that's all you're going to have to do. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And give it a like and comment if you want any more help on different type of badges. Or I, I should just keep doing more of these type of videos. But um, yeah, make sure you subscribe and I'm out.